though Bergdahl, called a traitor by President Trump, pleads guilty. Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, who walked off his base in Afghanistan in 2009, setting off a military manhunt and political furor, pleaded guilty to desertion and misbehavior before the enemy on Monday before a military judge in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Sergeant Bergdahl, 31, was held captive by the Taliban for five years before the Obama administration traded him in 2014 for five Taliban detainees at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. He was charged with desertion, which carries a potential five-year sentence, and with misbehavior, essentially, endangering the troops who were sent to search for him, which carries a potential life sentence. The negotiations for his release became a presidential campaign issue and an attacking point for Republican critics of President Obama's foreign policy. Last year, as a candidate, Donald J. Trump repeatedly called the sergeant a traitor and called for him to be executed. Sergeant Bergdahl had a different explanation, telling the Army's chief investigator, Major General Kenneth Dahl that he decided to leave his base so he could walk to a larger base about 18 miles away in order to report what he felt were leadership problems in his own unit. General Dahl, whose investigation formed the basis of the military's case against Sergeant Berg Dahl, later testified that jailing him would be inappropriate, suggesting that the sergeant had been delusional and that he had never intended to desert. Continue reading the main story. Related coverage. Judge says Trump's statements did not prejudice case against Bergdahl February 24, 2017. Though Bergdahl, facing desertion trial, asks Obama for pardon December 2, 2016. Though Bergdahl, American soldier, freed by Taliban in prisoner trade May 31, 2014. Administration defends swap with Taliban to free U.S. soldier June 1, 2014. Fears for sergeant's life led to secrecy about swap, Obama official says June 5, 2014. Recent comments. Crossing overhead two minutes ago. Traitor. Mike two minutes ago. The Uniform Code of Military Justice proves that kangaroo courts are alive and well on our continent. JD two minutes ago. Imagine being called a traitor by a draft dodger who colluded with our Russian enemy to win the presidency. See all comments write a comment. Army prosecutors have argued that Sergeant Bergdahl's departure forced the military to drastically alter its operations during the manhunt. They also say that two soldiers and a Navy SEAL suffered serious wounds searching for the sergeant in two separate operations. Defense lawyers have said those injuries cannot be directly tied to Sergeant Bergdahl. Military investigators later found grave faults with the leadership and planning of one mission, they say, adding that evidence indicates that the other mission targeted a well-known enemy combatant and thus had a purpose apart from rescuing the sergeant. Defense lawyers have also argued that the comments made by President Trump before his election made a fair trial impossible. But a military judge ruled in February that while Mr. Trump's statements were troubling, they had not prejudiced the case against the sergeant. The sergeant, 